You, you must have thought I forgot. Because I didn't. I didn't forget shit. I was always going to circle back to this. You see, we went away. We went away for a mental health break. We, 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 we took a break from just reviewing just shows and talking about Marvel and DC content. And we just had to get away. We, and then on top of that, we had the whole YouTube situation that was happening. And we just went off and we casually joined a, a well, we casually created the gaming channel. And I was just over there oblivious, happy and oblivious of everything that's going on. But we're back now. We're back. And not only are we back, we have to take some time. Because there's another rant coming down the pipe about the current state of Marvel and why it's in just absolute fucking shambles. But I really wanted to focus on this. I, 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 we need to focus on this. And, I, and I'm just going to read, I'm just, we're just going to summarize the article, right? We're, we're, we're going to pull from the core. In a breakdown by Variety's Tatiana, Tatiana Siegel, it's being said that Marvel's Blade reboot was originally headed in a very different direction than what most fans would expect from a Blade film. With multiple, with multi Oscar winner Mahershala Ali as the titular character, the report claims that the story at one point morphed into a narrative led by women and filled with life lessons, and that Blade was relegated to the fourth lead of the film. That angle tracks with Marvel, Marvel's recent promotional push of Bloodline, Daughter of Blade, in the comics this year. A character many speculated the Blade movie was going to focus on. Allow me. To, 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 to walk you through a scenario, okay? Imagine if the very first Iron Man movie, no, who, who's the last good person to be introduced in the MCU who had a solo film? Who's the last good person? We had Captain America, no, we had Iron Man first, then we had Captain America, then we had Thor. Okay, I got one better for you. Imagine if, and we're going big picture mode for this because fuck this, I can't, I can't keep looking, I can't keep looking at that. But imagine if Marvel gave us an Incredible Hulk movie, and the entirety of the Incredible Hulk movie had nothing to do with the Incredible Hulk. The entire movie was basically about Betty, Betty Ross. Like the whole movie was about Betty Ross, and the Hulk only showed up. Once or twice. They gave Hulk the Godzilla treatment from the first movie, the first American movie he was in. Where, like, maybe you saw an arm of the Hulk. Maybe you saw a green little fingernail. Maybe he popped on screen for about two seconds and then he fucking vanished. But the entire thing is a story about Betty Ross just, just out there in the world trying to discover herself and, and, and get over her feelings for Bruce fucking Banner. And Bruce Banner only pops up. It, 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 it has a two-hour runtime, and Bruce Banner only pops up for about 13 minutes throughout the entire fucking movie. Do you think that 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 people were going to go to the theaters to watch a Blade movie where Blade is not the protagonist? He 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 he's he's not he he's not the the what is it the do the rock do do. Well, whatever it is for the second person who also acts as a hero, but they're more or less a sidekick to the hero. He's not the third guy on the wheel. He's the fourth guy. So you have to go through the lead female, the assistant female to the lead female, probably the female antagonist to the female protagonist, and then Blade, who probably shows up, says some cool shit, disappears for 30 minutes comes back says some more cool shit disappears comes back uh, uh after 45 minutes disappears you don't see him again she goes through her whole character arc where she discovers herself and then he pops back up in in, in a post credit scene at, at, at the end of the fucking film who at marvel sat down and was like fans don't want blade versus dracula Fans don't want Blade versus Vampirella. Fans don't even want Blade versus a fucked up version of Morbius. We don't want Blade versus the Vampire High Council that is secretly running things in the shadows. We don't want Blade versus the vampires who infiltrated Hydra during World War II. We don't want Blade dealing with uh, uh, Dane Whitman's entire family and the curse of of uh, of of the I can't even remember the name of the fucking Blade. I'm so goddamn mad. 
but but the curse of that blade and the fact that the blade is going to be needed to defeat a Dracula. We're, we're, we're not interested in writing any of those fucking stories. We're not going to give you blade hunting vampires and dealing with supernatural threats while the Avengers are out there doing shit where you're getting to see his perspective basically dealing with like the fallout of like a battle with the Avengers or, or, or the battle of New York happens. And then later on that night when people are trying to deal with just, just what which is aliens descending on New York and attacking people blades out there dealing with the supernatural threats that are trying to prey on the humans that are fleeing the battle or the supernatural threats trying to prey on the people trying to escape the wreckages of Sokovia late at night because it's, it's adjacent to like, let's say Dracula's castle or one of Dracula's there. Nah, dog, people don't want that. You don't want blade. You didn't come here for Blade. What you came here for is for a female character that was introduced in probably the last few years that we're trying to push in the comic books. And, and, and you know what we're, we're really going to do? We're not going to give Mahershala Ali $200 million for his Blade movie. No, 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 no. We gave it to Ant-Man and the CGI fest that was his fucking movie. That's where we put our goddamn money. What you want, the thing that you want in a Blade movie the thing you want in a Blade movie is you want a female lead and you want her to be going on a journey of discovery where she has to learn about herself and, 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 and discover the, 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 the power of friendship that's been buried deep in her heart because she didn't understand how to deal with the fact that she may be the daughter of, of, of the Daywalker. That's what you want. That's what you always needed. That's what you that that's what you were missing in your life. That's not what I'm missing in my life. I feel as if I sat down a hundred women who 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 read comic books and, and and enjoy horror movies, and I was like, would you want to watch this, or would you rather see Mahershala Ali run around with with Jon Snow killing fucking vampires and then fist fighting Dracula at the end of the fucking movie like he's Victor Belmont? Fairly certain the vast majority of those women will be like, fuck yeah, give me Mahershala Ali and 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 Jon Snow Kit Harrington shirtless fighting fucking Dracula in his goddamn castle, fist fighting him as though he's goddamn Trevor Belmont. Because it's 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 expected. You would expect in a movie called Blade is about Blade. That everything you're seeing is from his fucking perspective. That going into this. You're like, all right, he's gonna be doing some dope shit. Like, like you understand the principle, the principle before you walk into the movie theater. You're like, this movie is about Blade. He's gonna be doing some super, super dope shit, and I'm gonna be having a blast. He's gonna be out there. He's gonna be killing vampires. That's the basis that I know. You know that before you even walk in, and then you go in and you sit down, and it's a generic Marvel version of the Barbie movie. Because everything that I read right here, I was like, well, I saw that already. I saw that earlier this year when I went to go see the Barbie movie. Which would mean, from my perspective, from the outside looking in, that in Blade's own movie, Blade is Ken. Where he's trying to figure out his own thing. The only question I have is when does his, his musical cue pop in? Because Ken had some bangers in the Barbie movie. When I saw that, I was like, yo, I'm invested in Ken. Ken speaks for the vast majority of men who just don't understand the, their, their direction or, or, or their, 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 their self-worth and trying to figure out their self-worth in, in, in a society that basically tells them that every single thing that they do has a value attached to it. I'm, I'm here for Ken's journey. But why is Blade, the Daywalker, the Vampire Slayer, the guy who took on Dracula and fucking killed him, why is that guy, why is he being relegated to a position like Ken was in the Barbie movie? How did we arrive here? Who were the writers? They're like, oh, well, you know, we had five writers. That means that you had five people who read this and they all agreed to this trash. Fire those people. The same way you fired the entire writing staff for Daredevil, fire all five of these people. I can only hope that they no longer have jobs. And I'm the type of person that I don't believe that you should be fired. I would say that, mm, you're not for this project, maybe we move you up. No, 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 fired. The directors who came in read this and were like, fuck yeah, let's get Mahershal Ali in here so we can start production. Fire them, don't ever hire them ever again, ever. Because this is, this is and I said that there's another rant coming in regards to just Marvel as a whole. But this is just a piece, a piece 
of what I've been complaining about over the fact that Marvel no longer tells stories that branch. Where you have a character, the character is introduced, the story that you are told is encompassing. It fully covers that character. You feel as though you can sit down and you can watch this movie completely separate from everything else. But sprinkled in as you watch the movie are nuggets, bits and pieces here and there that, that connect to the greater whole that they're trying to set up. Somehow we completely lost the sauce. Somehow we lost the sauce and we ended up just, just in this weird fucking space that does not make sense. And I, and, and I really have to wonder whether or not like, like there was a plan. Was there a plan at some point in time for the direction that we were going to take everything? Because there is no way, there is no way you're telling me that somebody sat down and wrote a Blade script and hired Mahershala Ali, the best choice to play Blade, and was like, you're not the main guy in this movie. You're the fourth guy in this movie. And out of the two-hour runtime, you're only going to be on screen for 13 minutes. And you don't learn anything. This is completely a journey of discovery for a character that we aren't interested in at all. No way that you spent all these years writing that garbage-ass script. And like I said, I'm not the type of person I get fucking mad. But holy shit, there's no way somebody sat down and was like, this sounds like fire. No, no, I refuse, I refuse, I refuse to believe that. And if Mahershala Ali had walked away, like, because they said that he was this close to being like, fuck this entire production, go get another black man to stick up on this garbage ass movie, I would 100% be behind him. 